Well, this new technology, this non-invasive growing prosthesis has really changed completely how we look at pediatric cancer surgery and the reconstructions. Um, I've been doing these reconstructions for um, 17, 18 years, and previously, in order to do these reconstructions, we would put in a prosthesis that the only way we could lengthen them is go back to surgery and open the leg up and then put in blocks or uh, turn mechanisms in the operating room in order to get the child's leg to grow. That certainly presents a lot of problems. The child has to go through multiple surgical procedures, um, which is not good, increases the risk of infections, and also we would have to lengthen quite a lot. If we're going to bring the patient to surgery, we would want to do as much lengthening as we can in order to um, prevent the child having going through multiple procedures. Well, when you lengthen too much in a short period of time, um, the body doesn't uh, react as well. You can stretch the muscles, the nerves, and tendons by lengthening too much at a time. So with this new technology that we can actually lengthen the child without going to surgery, we don't have to lengthen as much every time we go to surgery, or uh, every time we lengthen. Um, what we have to do is the child will come into a clinic rather than the operating room, and we can turn a magnet on, and as the magnet spins, it turns the gears, and we can slowly lengthen the child's prosthesis. So we can very easily keep up with the child as they are growing through just an out clinic, outpatient clinic visit. And um, uh, this minimizes so many of the complications we had before, because now we can lengthen the child a few millimeters at a time. They come in, we lengthen the child, they get up and they walk out of the clinic. In fact, many times the children will turn on the machine themselves and lengthen their own limb and actually actually listen to it grow. Um, it's painless. Um, there is uh, minimal complications with the procedure. And again, it's outpatient. They do not have to go to the operating room. The traditional treatment for a child under the age of 15 is an amputation. And they think that this is gold standard. With more and more information available out to the families and having companies um, produce websites where they can, the families can access the information, I think that we're going to be able to have more children be able to get this new technology and be able to have limb salvage surgery uh, performed on their child and not have to go through an amputation. And I think over time, limb salvage surgery with these non-invasive expandable devices is going to be the gold standard.